Hello everyone, it's Wes from East Tennessee. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. I uh, had some things going on that I don't want to talk about right now. Um, but I do want to talk about something that I want other people to, to avoid. And I don't want them to get into it. Um, my wife's dentist... It's an office. It's not really a dentist because she never sees the same person twice. And the outfit she's with is Aspen Dental. Now, I'm not going to tell you not to go there. I'm going to give you my personal opinion. And I think uh, something that people should look out for. We, um, we've been going to this Aspen Dental for a while. And every time my wife goes in there, they continually try to upsell her on stuff that we really cannot afford. And they don't seem like that they're really so much concerned about that. They just keep drilling in her head, you need to get this done, you need to get this done. And the poor thing, she just gets so confused. I've never seen a dentist place like this before. I mean, anytime I've ever went to a dentist in my life, they asked me what I would would like done. I'd tell them, and that would be the end of it. But these people here, they said, well, maybe we can crown it. Maybe we can drill down to China and put you a root canal in. Maybe we can put implants in. They're wanting to do everything except what she wants done. And and it's never the same person, so they really don't know her history. And, and you know, the thing of it is, too, is is we had these people take x-rays. They are to be able to kind of see some of the things that you need before you're in excruciating pain. And so I was up in Virginia and had to run down to Tennessee so she could have emergency dental work because she loves, well, she used to love this place. I think she's it's, it's losing its glamour to her. But it, all it is is a franchisee, and it just seems like they're after deep pockets. Every time you go in, they want to, well, let's do this for thousands. Let's do that for thousands. And so, you know, and just instead of saying, well, let's first get you some relief. No, they're saying, well, let's drag this on. Uh, let's, you know, let's. Do this for two or three more weeks and do this and build up to that. And so I'm just going to tell you in my personal opinion, get a hometown dentist. Get someone local that if you live there for 50 years, you've got the same dentist looking in your mouth. And he knows it like the back of his hand because you go to him for all your cleanings and everything you need. But these people here, they will never get to know your mouth because they keep, they get such bad reviews, it seems like, after looking at the reviews, they get such bad reviews that they've got to keep switching doctors around. Kind of like a magician, you know, uh, bait and switch. The hand's quicker than the eye. So, you know, if you guys had um, experience with us, some of these franchise dentist office. And like I say, the one I'm particularly talking about today is Aspen. Uh, just, I'd like to know your your opinion. See how they your results has been. Anyways, it's, it's not going to be a video. It's just a, a short little kind of rant. And hopefully um, uh, warn you about these franchise dentist offices. Uh, they're just, they think they're not going to get to know their patients, not like a friend, and really do what's best for you. It seems like they're out for their best of their pocket. Hey, you guys, have a good day, and I um, hope your things go well. Bye.